Picture This by Joseph Heller is a multifaceted novel that weaves historical narratives with philosophical musings held together by the central conceit of Rembrandt's painting, Aristotle contemplating the bust of Homer. Rather than presenting a linear story, the book uses the painting which shows the Greek philosopher Aristotle with his hand thoughtfully placed on a sculpture of the blind poet Homer as a jumping-off point to explore a variety of themes related to art, wealth, power, and the human condition across different periods of history. The narrative oscillates between three primary settings. First, it delves into the life of Rembrandt in 17th century Holland, a time when Amsterdam was a bustling center of commerce and the Dutch Republic was at its zenith. In this setting, Rembrandt is portrayed as a gifted and celebrated artist who eventually faces financial ruin and personal misfortune. Through Rembrandt's story, Heller critiques the commercialization of art and the precarious life of the artist, showing how an individual's talents can be subjected to the whims of patrons, markets, and shifting tastes. Secondly, the novel transports the reader to ancient Greece, where the figures of Aristotle and Plato are central. We see Aristotle as a pragmatic philosopher and tutor to Alexander the Great, navigating the dynamics of politics and knowledge. Heller presents Aristotle as a man of contradictions, at times espousing lofty philosophical ideals while also ingratiating himself with the Macedonian court and its project of imperial expansion. Meanwhile, Plato's portrayal serves as a counterpoint, emphasizing his beliefs in ideal forms and the philosopher king. The novel addresses the moral and ethical compromises that Aristotle makes in the pursuit of success and relevance, contrasting them with his teachings of virtue and the contemplative life. The third main setting involves the United States during the Cold War, particularly during the 1980s, which serves as a backdrop for contemporary reflections. In this modern context, Heller draws parallels between the past and present, highlighting the enduring nature of certain human behaviors and societal structures. Just as ancient Greece and 17th century Holland grappled with questions of power, wealth, and moral integrity, so do the characters in the contemporary sections of the book. Throughout the novel, Heller plays with the idea of history repeating itself. The preoccupations of past eras, such as the pursuit of wealth, the nature of democracy, the corrupting influence of power, and the role of the artist in society, find their echoes in the modern world. The recurring motif of the painting acts as a philosophical anchor, bringing the reader back to the questions that the work of art raises about the value of contemplation in a world that often prioritizes material success and concrete achievements. Moreover, the novel is interspersed with satirical commentary and absurdist humor, hallmarks of Heller's style, as seen in his seminal work, Catch-22. Through irony and exaggeration, Heller dissects the foibles of historical figures and the systems they inhabit. He pokes fun at the political and intellectual elites of all eras, suggesting that despite their pretensions to wisdom and authority, they are frequently as confused and selfish as anyone else. As the narrative unfolds, Heller underscores the fragile and transient nature of life, art, and human endeavors. Rembrandt, who achieves fame and fortune, ultimately loses both. Aristotle reaches the apex of intellectual influence, yet his relationship with Alexander becomes fraught and his philosophies fall out of favor after his death. The United States, a superpower during the 1980s, grapples with its own contradictions and socioeconomic issues. In Rembrandt's financial difficulties, we witness the fickleness of public opinion and the impact of economic forces on the life of the individual. Aristocracy and the wealthy merchant class are highlighted as the arbiters of an artist's destiny. Heller delves deep into economic transactions, detailing Rembrandt's art sales, his speculative investments in tulip bulbs during the tulip mania, and his eventual bankruptcy, which caused a sharp decline in his social status and forced him to sell many of his works, including Aristotle contemplating the bust of Homer. The novel not only explores the economic aspects of art, but also its philosophical implications. Rembrandt's engagement with the painting is reflective of the intellectual climate of his time, wherein the themes of the Renaissance, such as the renewal of classical knowledge and the humanist emphasis on individual potential, are giving way to the more mercantile and pragmatic concerns of the Dutch Golden Age. 
During the sections on ancient Greece, Heller delves into philosophical debates between Aristotle and his contemporaries, particularly his teacher Plato. Reflecting on the nature of reality, the ideal state, and the role of philosophy in everyday life. Throughout these debates, the novel raises questions about the purpose of philosophical inquiry in a world rife with political upheaval, war, and the pursuit of power at all costs. The scenes set in 1980s America offer a critique of contemporary society, drawing attention to themes of corporate greed, political manipulation, and cultural superficiality. The Cold War mindset, with its fear of nuclear annihilation and ideological struggles, is compared to the bellicose posture of ancient empires and the internal strife of the Dutch Republic as it began to decline. Through the character of Rembrandt, Heller examines the complexities of the artistic process, bringing to life the painter's meticulous technique, his penetrating insight into human nature, and his capacity for capturing light and shadow. Heller suggests that Rembrandt's art offers a deeper understanding of existence, transcending the immediate concerns of the historical figures he portrays. Heller's Picture This is not a conventional novel, but rather a tapestry of historical analysis, philosophical reflection, and contemporary critique. The book serves as a meditation on the recurring patterns of human life and the intersections between art, politics, philosophy, and history. By using Rembrandt's painting as a metaphorical focal point, Heller invites the reader to contemplate the cyclical nature of human affairs and the enduring relevance of asking fundamental questions about the meaning and purpose of life.